I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Last time, Philly managed to uh, pollard all the trees with the extendable chainsaw, and it's looking very nice, and you can clearly see our chapel over there. So I will be working there today with my friend Malcolm, and we'll be transforming that area some more whilst the boys are working elsewhere, i.e. Phil and Rick. So here it is, all mixed up, and as you can see, it's really thick, like a yogurt-like uh, consistency. And I've just placed it in these buckets, and obviously added 50% of water, pretty much, to get it into like really milky consistency. It's literally like water. And that is what we need to do to get it to that, so that we can paint, and obviously um, see it transform once it's dry. And today we'll be working here. I've got myself Malcolm over here. <laughs> it's lovely to work with Malcolm yeah. here. He gives me lots of good tips <laughs> and we have a great chat. In it's Bantra. good fun, it's good fun. So Malcolm, <clears throat> today we'll be painting trees. You ever painted yep. trees before? Nope, never, nope. Does it sound crazy? It sounds crazy, but I think <laughs> it's gonna be good. I think I th it's gonna look lovely when we finish them as well. Uh, I think so too. I'm gonna just explain to you what it is we're doing. So these are the trees that Phil has pollarded uh, alongside with Rick's help as well. So they are looking lovely bare and obviously let a lot of light in. But what we're doing today is painting trees. Now it's not normal paint we're doing this and the reason we're doing this is to protect the bark. So this paint is in a milky consistency at the moment and what it is, it's not normal paint, it's actually lime, quick lime, i.e. chalk. So with a 50-50 mix of water, it becomes like a milky consistency. And what it does is, uh, as you can see, it's transparent at the moment, but when it dries, it will become more, um, well, more whiter, shall I say, um, less opaque. There's a really nice love heart on here carved. I don't know how long ago, no idea what is carved in there and who it is by, but it's a nice bit of history. Uh, so what it will do is basically the lime is antibacterial to the trees. So it stops any bugs growing on here, any larvae. Uh, so it's very good for the trees because all the bugs like to live in the cracks of the bark. What it also does is uh, reflect the bouncing sunlight off it rather than consume it with the dark bark, which means that when the buds form on these trees, uh, at early spring when there is a uh, uh, risk of frost still yet to come that when the frost actually comes they're not going to freeze off because the buds are not going to form as early as that so the sun can carry on warming the tree and they will bud only when it feels fully warm all throughout so it's basically delaying the budding uh, season of these trees uh, so they don't go into bud too early which is very good. So if you've got fruiting trees, you might want to do this for sure. It's nice, quick and easy. It makes the whole place look nice and tidy, but you're also protecting the trees and giving them a better life uh, from my point of view. So it's a very good idea. These are our front gate. As soon as you start to enter the grounds of the chateau and it's the area immediately on the left that we're working on. But can you imagine as you walk through here, this alley of trees, and all along here on the right, all of these that have been plodded, all of these lime trees and other trees have got the base of the stem in white. Very nice, neat and tidy. You see that in a lot of landscapes gardens, which is very nice, uh, but obviously it's, uh, sometimes they come in different colors, but uh, the main thing is that it gives protection to these trees. So they live longer and happier life I think that's what it's all about, to be honest. 
So the reason we're wearing, I love your little singing there, it's nice. So the reason we are d wearing glasses is because obviously it's not just chalk, it's actually quick climb. So that can obviously burn and affect your eyes. So we're wearing some eye protection for sure, some gloves and everything else, but it's a very runny and milky consistency. And uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, not so easy to apply, but it looks beautiful already, as you can see from behind where uh, Malcolm has pretty much done the tree. It's gonna look really awesome and it'll become even more white. So can't wait to see that. And here they are, all finished and looking absolutely wonderful and beautiful with the white tree lined, nice and protected. I uh, mentioned earlier to Malcolm that they look like um, trees wearing tuxedos and that's obviously their white parts, their shirts. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? And they now need bow ties. They need bow ties. I'm not averse to um, painting a little black bows on them, I think on the upper part yeah definitely coming up but it's done it's looking lovely um obviously most importantly protected uh now just like any lime render obviously this is made out of lime it's not render but it's lime you can actually have the chalk uh part in different color i think what happens is people add drops of pigment into the mixture and they mix it up um so i found some online photos which are really beautiful so maybe I'll do that in future, but for now, I've never done this before and I want it to have it in white and it's looking nice and beautiful and well organized. Lots more trees to do like that, but it's a very lovely start. Just wanted to show you, so if you were coming down our drive for one of our events in future, it's going to be greeting you like this. And in fact, all the trees are going to have the base uh, of this stem. Uh, painted to protect them from all the creatures keep them nice and warm and healthy but yeah you're gonna have this let's ask the boys what they think of this lovely difference <laughs> bright and just looks so much brighter doesn't it yeah and 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 you can imagine when the the tops of the leaves uh, bud and explode with the leaves it's gonna be really nice it's don't you think they look like they have tuxedos on like these little shirts <laughs> you don't go painting dicky balls on, uh, you know? that's the, that's, that was suggested already was we'll it? Some dicky balls malcolm wants me to i'm not averse to that i think it's a or good make idea some, or just make some yeah yeah exactly for one of our events do, would you guys like me to, to make some bows for these trees for one of our events let me know <laughs> i'll happily read the comments and suggestions because you've got so much spare time in your hands yeah, no i don't but i think it'll look really <laughs> nice really well, and yeah, cool well, well, and it'll be like oh, imagine yeah, alice yeah, in wonderland yeah, well, yeah, and these will have little bows and i'll put some string lights between all of this <laughs> yeah string lights would be really nice and my pom-poms on the top i usually attach I them i hang them off the tree so they all like different color pom-poms and they look really nice and magical well, it's been a nice day and I'd like to go and see what the boys got up to today. Nothing.